Hello guys, welcome back again. So in the last video we have uh, learned how to add an image to our product and how to upload that image and save that image in the, to our database. So basically uh, we talked about uh, how we encode the image to a string representation and how we uh, display the image in the 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 view side using each uh, using uh, HTML theme leaf so it's here so this is it where is it where is it this is it how we so this is how we display the our image so this is ba basically just something called the embedded image we embed the image inside our uh, file we can give uh, 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 inside our html code we don't give a source or something like this it doesn't take to any all external file it's here it's called an embedded image so uh, and uh, we did uh, uh, serve we add the service so we have uh, a service here a product service uh, just to keep our product controller clean and to inject the service inside the in the controller in, in the product controller so we can use it to invoke uh, some method like save or change uh, product service save product to database delete product change name change image change anyway and we implemented those method here we call them here in the service itself so that's it we have, uh, so in the future if we want to add just a method here we just create a product service and we name the method and we came here and uh, uh, we define this method here and uh, the service itself it's injected with the uh, product repository so we can communicate with our database so that's it for now what this is how what we we've done and uh, I'm gonna show you something I added to this project I added base page this page just uh, one single page that I found on the internet for free so basically the idea of this uh, whole series is to create a, a simple web application e-commerce web application so we will be using this our as our skeleton to this uh, simple web application so we don't have to create all the HTML says it so I found this I think it's cool uh, you can uh, toggle the sidebar and it's nice sidebar and we have a uh, navigation over here so and uh, yeah, we can insert here multiple links and uh, this page came with uh, just one file it's a CSS a CSS file so we added our file uh, CSS file here and so basically this is the file actual file it has some cda in here just like uh, because it's using some cda in here like uh, fonts awesome and uh, for this uh, i guess for this uh, stuff here this badge here so it's using the cda but i don't i prefer the static way like like this adding it like this i can prefer this because if you don't have uh, uh, an internet connection and you are testing this project in your machine and this uh, testing this application in your machine uh, it won't work because you need a uh, internet connection to to fetch this file so uh, so mm, I will uh, anyway this pro this pro uh, this project will be up in uh, github in my github repository so you can take it and uh, i will be always saving the change there so you can always get the last version so anyway this is the our our uh, 
sample page here and we have a map a navigation bar it's nice we can add something and delete something so it's a ready set it's like a skeleton for our uh, what we can do and uh, pretty much uh, it's just a sample so uh, the idea is this what I want is this so if uh, we navigate back here to our products or add product uh, so you can see if we navigate from here to here you can see it's a little bit flickering because it's changed the URL and uh, need to uh, load the, the, the whole page so I don't like this don't like this flickering effect and if you do, if you do have a, a big view that has a lot of HTML code and the other stuff it will takes a little bit of time to load so I don't like this the idea is this what I'm, I want to do is this let me show you something index index yes this is it so what I want is this we will be creating this application as a single page web application how we are gonna do that I will explain uh, so uh, for example we have imagine we have this here a link to the this page add products so if we keep it this the classical way the way we were doing it well, if we click here the navigation here the URL here will change to add product and that way we will have this flickering effect uh, uh, because of moving from one page to another and the same thing for for example uh, uh, showing the list of products but you know for sure we will all our pages will contain these for sure and these and if in, even if we have a footer here this will be the same in our in our, uh, uh, all our pages so uh, we will be copy and passing all of this uh, or using theme leaf uh, template to replace and uh, uh, and include another template there is a way in theme leaf i will be talking about it how to take just a part of uh, uh, a view and, and render it in, uh, in another view without having to duplicate uh, the, to duplicate all the code so that's a way but uh, what i want to do here is is it something that's uh, called a single web page uh, with web application which is the a concept that is used uh, more often by uh, recent framework like uh, like uh, react or angular they use this concept of uh, uh, spa a single web application page so a single page web application so that's it what uh, so how we're gonna do this is uh, for example if we want so we know for sure that this will be the same and this will be the same what will change is this how about if we click on this add project here we remove just this we don't have to navigate change the URL we remove just this and replace it with the, our form of change of uh, add a product or changed product or whatever uh, the same for uh, sh displaying the list of product removing what was here already and uh, and uh, replacing it with the, the our list of product and on and on uh, uh, and we have if we have something here a link uh, for example category of product or whatever here so we keep doing this so how we're gonna do this is by using ajax uh, by using ajax so how we're gonna do this the implementation we will be i, I will talk about uh, about it in the next video so uh, stay tuned